Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Aries for the week starting May 9, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. Thank you for those who have subscribed already and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your private messages. It truly means a lot to me. I read all of your comments. I'm very passionate about, you know, um, knowing how your weeks is going, knowing how, how the reading resonating with you. I'm very happy my Aries are always letting me know how everything is is happening and unfolding in their lives and uh, I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well and so before I proceed I want you to know that yes I changed uh, scenery a little bit if I could say this and to tell you a little bit about myself is I'm a traveler I travel the world and now I'm in a different continent and so please feel free to let me know how this resonates with you. I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay where I am. So that's why I'm not saying where I am for now. I'm not to um, put too much energy on it. But let me know how this resonates with you, uh, my lovely Aries. And now on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to um, recording your reading, I, med I meditate and ask spirit for guidance. I always shuffle the cards ahead of time. And so let's see what we have in the past position this week. We have the Two of Cups. So now we have a meeting of a mind for you. So this Two of Cups could be in terms of your personal relationship, where now there's this mutual understanding, love, compassion, bliss in your romantical relationship. But it could also be in other partnership as well. It could be in business. On certain level, the Two of Cups represent contracts when there's, you know, because there's two adults looking at each other. So when there's this understanding, fair um, agreement based on trust and loyalty, that is what the Two of Cups is represent represents also in, in this spread. But, you know, it's the first card. We'll have to see what we have in the near past position for you this week. We have judgment, major arcana. So, you know, this energy will remain present through the week for you, my Aries. So judgment, it could be, you know, telling you there's some type of surprise or things that is, that's going to come out in terms of your relationship. And that could be in your family too. It, can, it doesn't mean that it's on one-on-one, -on -one, okay? I say this because you have a, a lot of energy in your second house. Second house for you is Taurus. The sun is there, Mercury is there, okay? So there's some type of things that's going to come out. And also, um, your ruler, Mars, is in your ninth house. It's in Sagittarius going retrograde. Ninth house is about law, among other things. But what I think it's in, in relation to this spread, it could be about law, religion, media, and things of that nature. So there's maybe something that's going to come out in your relationship, okay, concerning that, that was hidden, or maybe there will be, um, you know, uh, how can I say, a, a deal or a something that it's, that will be approved by spirit in terms of your relationship, so if you were maybe having something on a low, or you had plan on a low for your relationship, you didn't want to divulge your plan maybe this is the time now this week for that to come out it could be the time for people to for you to let people know your intentions uh, know the direction of of your relationship or where you want to go in terms of your business or your business ideas things of that nature but let me know it's a general reading so let me know how this uh, will resonate with you and now let's see what we have in the future position this week we have the hangman, another major arcana. So the hangman and the judgment, two major arcana together, could be that now you're really trying, now you have an understanding of something. There's a truth that came out. 
And the truth could be about you too. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's about other people. It could be how other people see you. Or it could be something could come out about f your, your foundation, okay? Your house, your family, people that you value because it's all related to the second house, which is where the sun is, okay? So here it could be that you have a different vision now. Now that you know what was hidden or, you know, truth came out, which is a judgment, judgment day, now you may have an idea or you could be also putting yourself on hold. Maybe now is, this is a time where you're deciding to take a step back and going forward and now looking at how things would unfold on, on its own. Maybe now you have a different type of faith in the future, okay? The hangman is about, is, as you see, he is suspended. The suspension is about also waiting, but on a certain level also it's about having a different perspective, having a different outlook, seeing things differently, okay? It's not about being conservative here, okay? Sometimes the hangman represent concept, having a concept, a uh, you know, something, an idea that is wild, okay? It may not be wild, like crazy, but it could be different as where you started at the beginning and how you see things now. Maybe it's a switch change. It could be black, you know, to white, or, you know, there's some type of, of, um, of a, how can I say, vision that is ultimately very, very different from what other people think or or how other people see you, or how other people would do things that you're about to do, okay? And let's see what we have. Oh, I just broke my little Buddha head. Okay, we're not going to end this reading here like this. I'm going to take it out. Okay, let's continue. I'm a little sad, though, that I broke my Buddha head. Okay, my Buddha from Thailand. I'll try to see if there's a way for me to to um, glue it. I don't know, maybe not. Okay, so what I had, okay, so now let's see what we have in the outcome position for you, my Aries, okay? We have the Queen of Rods. So the Queen of Rods is about... Um, you being determined, okay? Regardless if it's a female, it could be a male as well for you, my gentleman, okay? It could be that now you're having someone else uh, with you, which will bring you this, um, whatever idea that you have in your mind into reality. Because the Queen of Rots is all about achieving something. She's all about having a goal and going forward, okay? So there's an ally coming for you, or it could be you, now my uh Aries, you in full possession of your of your of yourself. You have strength, you have vision, you have clarity, you have understanding of others and yourself, and now you're gonna go in, in that direction. Okay. The direction is you know, it could be anything, it's a general reading. Maybe now you want to focus on your career, you want to expand in terms of your worth, because again, that's the second house. Second house is about work, okay? The money that you make. Or maybe it's about business. Maybe now you, you have this new idea about business for you or your family or having contract with other people that could allow yourself to gain uh, more money but also allow other people. Now, we don't see pentacles here. But I say this because that's what the Queen of, of Rod is about. She's about going towards a goal. And here we see agreement. We see contract. We see truth. We see you having a different idea. So I'm not too sure where this is going to go for you, my Aries, because Aries have great ideas. They have determination, and they're very creative. But I'm going to end this reading here. Let me know how this resonated with you. Leave me comments. Until next week, send you lots of kisses. I love you.